All right, so you want a corgi. Here are some things that you should know about corgis before you get them. Thing number one is they are so dang cute and they will use that cuteness to get out of whatever trouble that they get themselves into. And that's gonna lead us into thing number two. They will get themselves into trouble. He has so much energy and just constantly wants to be played with that when you do not do those things, if you do not, bless you. If you do not mentally exercise them and physically exercise them on the regular, they will absolutely go crazy. All right, now majority of people say that corgis are super calm and yes, they can be. Mine on the other hand is not. He is crazy and constantly wants to be played with 24 seven, it is nonstop. Another thing to know about corgis too is they usually come without their tails, but he actually has a tail. And the reason why they don't usually have their tails is because they are actually herding and cattle dogs in other countries besides the United States. They actually use them to herd animals, which is pretty funny because he is a tiny thing and they're used to herd uh, animals such as cows, which is pretty funny because I definitely see the herdingness inside of him. Um, if you have other dogs, they will probably try to herd your other dogs. Sit, stay. And let's not forget about their hair. They are constantly shedding and it just does not stop. No matter how many times you brush him, I brush him at least once a day. It does not seem to help. He just constantly sheds. I don't know if you just saw all that dog hair that went by, but it is nonstop. So if you like to wear black clothes, be prepared to buy a million lint rolls because you will be linting, de-linting yourself every single day. One thing that has really helped tremendously to help control the amount of lint that there is around my place is this bristle vacuum. It is a pet hair eraser and it works amazing. I just put it right up to them. No, I'm totally kidding, I do not do that. But it does work amazing, especially to get into all those little corners, underneath things like your couch or hard reach places where there just might be balls of hair that gather. If you like to cuddle, then you will absolutely love your corgi. I mean, you're gonna love him either way. I mean, how can you not love corgis? But he is just a constant cuddle bug when it comes to laying in bed, um, especially at night in the winters when it is cold in here. Uh, he will actually bury, bury himself underneath the blankets and he'll move them so he is comfortable and it is super cute. They are also extremely smart. Uh, I would probably put them up there with one of the smartest dogs. He knows exactly when it is time to eat on the clock, which is very close to eating time. He will also learn tricks within the first couple minutes of teaching him, and that's gonna bring me to another thing. They need to be constantly brain stimulated. So if you're constantly teaching them new tricks, or if you like to teach dogs tricks, then a corgi is definitely one for you because they just pick up on them so quick. And another thing too, they absolutely love belly rubs. He does not care about anything else other than belly rubs. Stay. So pretty. So pretty gravy. Hey, hey, hey. so pretty. So pretty. No, so pretty. Stay. Okay. Corgis are also usually very friendly to other dogs, very playful, or they just don't care about the other dogs. But he, on the other hand, uh, has a problem with other dogs. I don't know why he does not like other dogs. They stress him out, so we don't usually let him play around other dogs. But that's okay, because when we're out and about, and if there are other dogs in the area, all we have to do is bring out his B-A-L-L -L and play with that, and that is the only thing he cares about. He does not care about anything else other in the world besides B-A-L-L -L, and his food and belly rubs. I absolutely love belly rubs. One of the last things I wanna talk about is you need to be careful when you are buying a corgi. There are a lot of scammers out there and there are a lot of people out there who will try to scam you for your money. So do your due diligence when you are searching for a corgi. You will probably not find one at a pound or one that was surrendered. It is very rare and if it does happen, they do not last long so you need to be careful with that. Another thing too is some corgis are not friendly with kids. Um, that is very rare though. Majority of corgis are very friendly with kids and very great family dogs, but there is always that slight little risk. So please be careful if you have little ones with your dog. So please be careful if you have little ones around.
your dogs. And with that being said, there's a couple things that you should know before getting a Corgi. And now I think it is time for him to take a nap. He is tired of making this video with me. So if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up, like, and comment down below. This is my first video, and if you enjoyed it, let me know and I will make more.